crowded alleyways, winding waterways, expansive squares, and grand canals. There is no place in the world quite like Venice, Italy. Why am I here? Well, for my journey to the land of bubbles, I was gonna need some help from a local. So before heading to Treviso, the sub-region of Veneto where the best Prosecco is made, I met with my friend, Italian native, and fellow sommelier Tamara to help show me the ropes and spend a bit of time in the capital city of the region. I grew up about 45 minutes outside of Venice. So this is all the area of Prosecco? Yes. But the heart of it is north. Correct, exactly, exactly. Okay. So you're saying Prosecco? Yes. Not Prosecco. Correct, exactly, exactly. <laughs> like my Midwest accent would do it. Okay. <laughs> We're in Venice. Why does it exist? What What is the story behind it? You know, it started because um, people were leaving from the mainland to find a safe place. I mean, this place is, is so unreal. When you go down the Grand Canal and just seeing the way that they built up the buildings and the architects around the buildings, it's, it's incredible. It's stunning. There's nothing like that. It's yeah. so incredible. There's nowhere in the world I've seen no. like this. This is called Cafe Liscio which means smooth. Okay. And it means that uh, it doesn't have milk or alcohol inside. Okay. So you can definitely have espresso <laughs> with alcohol in it. What is it called if it has the alcohol it's in it? It's called Corretto. Oh, cause because it's, it's correct. It's correct, right? <laughs> Tell me about the perception of Prosecco in America versus what it actually is here in Italy. It's actually very different. Uh, prosecco in the USA is usually drank as an aperitif before the meal. Mm -hmm. In Italy, Prosecco is uh, drank, sure, before the meal, but also throughout the meal. And a lot of the Prosecco I feel like we get in America is not as good as the stuff I've had here. Yes. Yeah. yeah unfortunately, you're correct. <laughs> it's, hard to, it's hard to find good Prosecco in America. Yeah, I think it is hard to find. What's like a, a typical Italian meal? How many courses? How does it work? It's usually four courses. So oh, you wow. start with an appetizer, and then you have a first course, which is usually pasta or risotto or tortellini. And you have the second course, uh, which can be meat-based or seafood-based. Okay. And then, of course, you have dessert. And then you have dessert. I feel like wine and food culture here is just more celebrated, just generally. Yes, absolutely. I feel like meals are longer. I feel like there's more attention to detail, and, and it's almost like a, almost kind of sacred. It is sacred. Yeah. Yes, it's extremely important for, for the Italians to sit down, have a good meal. You know, when you go home in the evening and you sit down for a long meal with your family, that's the time in which you share what you've done throughout the day with your yeah. family. It's a, an important part of the day. Leaving the hustle and bustle of the city, we took the hour drive north through the tranquil, winding hills of the Italian countryside to Valdo Biandine, the city at the heart of Prosecco production. So what is Prosecco? A place, a grape, a wine? Even if you're fluent in Italian, the answer takes a bit to comprehend. Is it a place? Well, yeah. Prosecco refers to a geographical area that includes nine provinces spread across two regions, Veneto and Friuli Venezia Giulia, in the northeast of Italy. It includes the little town of Prosecco from which the region got its name. This is the place where Prosecco originated and the only area by law where Prosecco can be made. The Prosecco region can produce up to 600 million bottles a year, which makes it the most popular sparkling wine in the world. That's about double what they produce in Champagne. But the highest quality Prosecco is made about 40 miles from Venice, located between the cities of Valdo Biandine, say it with me kids, Valdo Biandine and Coleriano. Is it a grape? It was up until 2009. It used to be that the grape that made Prosecco was called Prosecco. However, Italy got word that places like Slovenia and Australia were making wine from the same grape and calling it Prosecco as well. And that didn't sit too well. Italy wanted to protect Prosecco's reputation. So they took a page out of Champagne's book and made steps to protect Prosecco as a place instead of a grape and simultaneously changed the name of the grape to Glera. And yeah, of course Prosecco is a wine, but is there something distinct about the winemaking process that makes it Prosecco? I'm glad you asked. See, it's all about how the bubbles are made. Unlike champagne, which uses the champagne method, Prosecco uses something called the Charmat method to make its bubbles, which we're gonna talk about later. To sum up, 
Prosecco is sparkling wine made in the Charmant method, made within the Prosecco region using the Glera grape. See, not quite as simple as you thought.